Now, if you don't feel good for Bobby King Green and this career resurgence in the UFC, then I don't know what to tell you. This man has had to be up and down and had to take a lot of really challenging stylistic matchups, but his style is one of the hardest to All right, so here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed. Well, what got through, that kick was blocked. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going in. Look for him to circle the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Double leg shot. strike. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. That guillotine is tight. Oh, submission defense holds up the game. It's on point. He's constantly under attack, and he's constantly back to where he's submission attempts, back to back. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. over giving up that submission. He is getting lit up. His face already has a big old cut on the side. Big ground and pound. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, how about the speed on that one? Here they can choke. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Submission defense by this young man. 20 seconds left. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill, on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Well, we talked about that reach advantage. As you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Nice jab. Five single collar time now. Once again, as they hit the first position, he gets to the single collar time. Look at the flare of his opponent by putting the head down and punching with the free hand. <laughs> and it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other position. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys 
would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up. Kill shots is what they call it to go in the fight. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, stack guard here, DC. The feet are on the hips. What does that mean? I mean, that he's out. I mean, he's out. The moment you get the feet on the hips, all he's got to do now is a straight leg. He's got to kick and push. Because how is the opponent going to stop him from just elevating? This is a grown man. You let him get both feet on your hip, you push away, you kick. Jiu-Jitsu stand-up, you know what that is, Jim. I do. You understand that. You know, you went to your jiu-jitsu class. Uh -huh. Post the hand, switch the hip, get back to your feet, get back to fight. He needs to move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. The one-two punch is true. Green's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Two rounds in the books. Oh, stop, stop, All right, stop. so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knock. Ready, fight. Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will be... Perfectly, perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Green's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. All right, so back to the hook shot there. And oh! Oh, nice angle. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Green. This is a terrible position. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. A double shot. Oh, slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the round. He slams him down with so much conviction, and nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lifted up off of his feet and then slammed back down to the mat. Oh, how good is that kick? Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Green's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side, so he'll keep fainting. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Well, he was setting up the hooks early and often. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. Cannot take another shot like that. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Oh. What a round. All right, so the fighter heads back to the 
stool. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though... You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five, and this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good at round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. <laughs> It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. And back to his feet. Oh, big left hand there. to work here round four. Nicely done. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. And just inches of... Oh, no! It's a bloody Saturday, folks. He's really starting to leak out of that eye area again. Well, he's leaking, John. He's wide open. The eyes are beat up. Oh! Comes back up. He's hurt. What a fight. 90 seconds to go in the round. drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. And here once more, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 41 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, LT Alright, so there he is, the still UFC lightweight champion of the world, a lot of steam.